Hi, I'm the College Money Mom. Here's a good question. Can a college student work and study at the same time? Well, the federal government thinks so, and it's willing to pony up the money for students to do just that, work and study. The U.S. Department of Education runs the Federal Work Study Program, which doles out more than $1.5 billion each year to help students pay for college. How can your student get some of this money? First, fill out the FAFSA form, which I talked about in an earlier video. Then, if the government decides that your student is eligible for financial aid, those work-study funds can be made available as well. So, what is work-study, and how does it fit into the topic of college financial aid? First, work-study is not a loan. The money does not have to be paid back. Second, work-study is different from a grant or scholarship because the student earns the money through work. So, work-study forms the third piece of the financial aid pie chart. Some combination of these three parts will almost always be listed on an eligible student's financial aid award. If any part is missing, your student should ask his college's financial aid officer to reevaluate his award to see why. It can never hurt to ask. After all, there's money involved, right? So, how much money are we talking about here? Well, work-study awards can vary, but total up to $3,000. It's important to know that a student cannot earn more than the amount of his work-study award in a school year, although working outside the system is still possible. Most of these jobs are on campus, doing things like working in the library, but some jobs could be off campus in public agencies and nonprofit organizations or in community service work. Students usually work 10 to 12 hours a week. The pay is equal to or more than the current federal minimum wage depending on the skills required. Most of the time, the school will issue the paychecks directly to the student. Under current rules, money earned from work study is taxable income, but on the other hand, those earnings do not affect the amount of aid your student is eligible for in the next school year. If you have questions, please email me at thecollegemoneymom at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.